All right, you guys, so guess what? We are opening up some uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! tins. They are 2022 Ten of the Pharaoh Gods. I didn't just get one. I got two of these bad boys. Now, just think about it. They're on sale right now at Target, and these are the last two at the Target that I live next to, and they were like $15 a piece, usually like 20, I think it was like 25. So we're gonna open up both of these bad boys and let's see if we get anything good. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm not sure when I'm gonna drop this video, we'll see. I'll probably drop it on Saturday for shits and giggles. So let's take this, let's open it. Oh yeah. So we, oh yeah. Let's cut that tin foil and the wrapper off as I throw all the packs everywhere. So, oh yeah. It actually comes with three packs. I'm not sure how many come in here. On top of that, the other cool thing is that all three of these packs, bro, they're first edition. Like it says, English edition, first edition at the top. It's pretty freaking dope. So let's crack these packs open. It says mega pack. So I'm not exactly sure how many come in it. Oh, woo. let's see, let's see. I don't think there's any kind of pack trick with these. We're just gonna crack them. Let's get it. Hopefully we got something good in here. I love the art of Yu-Gi-Oh. It's amazing. Link Apple. Icy Breeze Refrain. Beetle Troop. Stellar Wind Wolferet. However you pronounce it. Oh, dude, that one's actually really dope. Lava X Lord. Ooh, we got ourselves a waifu. It says live twin Kai Silky Frost. Ooh, say that three times fast. If I can get it to zoom in, there we go. Sunvine Crossbreed. Let's go. The Apex Predata Predation. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I'm very bad with words if you can't tell. Earth Chant. Link into the V Reigns, Arm Dragon Thunderbolt, the Angel Statue. I don't know what the dogs are doing. One Way Cure Ray. Let's keep going. Hopefully, we got something good as I'm dropping, dropping cards everywhere. Bro, I don't know what it is, but for whatever reason, today I just keep dropping cards, dropping stuff everywhere. There's no stopping me. We dropping things. Hopefully I ain't dropping dimes. I ain't no snitch. All right, so let's go into the next one. It looks like we're starting everything off with the Wind Witch Freeze Bell. We got ourselves a waifu. Magnificent, <laughs> magic -y, whatever the hell you pronounce that. A Link Apple again, Stairway. Flying Red Carp. Fabled Treason, Wind Witch Diamond. Bell, that's actually a pretty cool card. Ooh, look at the art on that. Machina, Reinforce, Magical Cylinder. Ooh, what is that? It says Heavenly Zephyr Midoriya. That is a really nice card. It's hard to read with OBS. Syndro Overtake. The Dual Tower. All right, Undaunting Bumpkin Beast. I don't know what's the difference between a bumpkin and a blumpkin. You tell me down in the comment section below. Oh my god, the words on that one's so small. Gizmikin Iniba, the Hope Hero of Hutuku. Oh, I, I totally butchered the hell out of that name. Let's keep going. The EMR. I wonder if it doesn't say what EMR stands for, but mind you, all these are first edition. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, we're into the third pack, the final pack out of this, uh, I guess you can call it like a booster tin. It comes with three mega packs. So, I mean, that's not a bad one. Win Witch, Master Diploman, Ultra Brutal, blah, blah, Beetle Troop Squad, Squad Up. Let's keep going. Supernatural Danger Zone. Oh, this is going to be the Heavy Metal Foe Amagoram. Let's see what our first holographic is. Ghost, Mourner, and Moonlit Chill. 
followed by Flood Wanderers and Sturry, uh, followed by Synchro Overtake. Like I said, it's really hard to read sometimes when I'm looking at the OBS, especially when it's gold. Dimension Shifter. Look at the art on that one. It's that's some really good art right there. Huh! Let's see. There we go. It's like you shall not pass. Branded opening. Let's go. I can't even attempt to pronounce that one. That's a really, I like the color scheme on that card with the black and the white. Branded in white. Let's keep going. Beetle Trooper Descent, followed by Beetle Trooper Armor Horn. All right, so I don't think we did too terribly bad on that uh, first 10. We got a bunch of really, really nice holographics and uh, ultra rares and stuff like that. So now we shall move into tin number two. Let me know in the comment section, like, what do you, what is the best card you can get out of this uh, 2022 tin of the Pharaoh Gods? Because, like I said, I have been out of Yu-Gi-Oh for a hot minute, and like, truth be told, I like a lot of these cards, but I'm also a sucker for art. Boom. So that first wrapper is off. We got three more mega packs of the 2022 first edition Pharaoh of the Gods 10. So 22, I like how it says 2022 10 of the Pharaoh Gods. Pharaoh's Gods. I think there's like what 20 cards per pack. I don't know. There's a lot. Made in Hawthorne, California. It's only like four hours away from me. I think it's not too bad. It's not too bad of a drive. All right, let's get into it. Hopefully we don't have a lot of like overlap between the packs because I noticed last uh, couple packs we got there, there was quite a bit of overlap when it came to the types of cards we were getting. All right, let's go. So we got, we, we just got him in the last uh, 10. All right, we got a finishing move right there. Live Twin Vilu Treat. That's a waifu right there, everybody. Followed by Soul Energy Max. And I think that's that's Obelisk the Tormentor on that card. That's actually a really nice card. Followed by Avalon the Essence of Vanity. And it's like a uh, peacock. It's a peacock actually on this card. If you take a look, it's like a ghost card. I actually like that. Roxanne's Dragon. Rox Rose Dragon. Oh my god. Please don't. Please don't hurt me too bad, guys. I can't read normally. Beetle Troop Fly and Sting. And then, uh, of course, there's a couple other ones. Well, yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Very nice art. And then, uh,. So the blue is the machine ritual tuner slash effect. Does that say that for all of them? So it looks like they're like link effects. I'm gonna have to do more research. I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh! since like 2005 or six. It's been a long time, you guys. So I I have been out of the Yu-Gi-Oh! game for a hot minute. All right, let's go. Icy breeze, rough rain. What does that say? It says, Black Eyes, the Plunder and Patrol Sea Guide. It's not bad. That's not a bad card neither. A thousand thousand. And then there's there's a massive like description of its effect. So let's get into the first one. It's like a waifu, Judge of the Ice Barrier. That's actually really nice art. Like very classic waifu. Another Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. Beast King Unleashed, followed by War Rock Skyler. Oh, dude, look at look at the art up close. Like, she got herself a wolf on her shoulders, dude. Ooh, Glamio or Dragon Shell. Link into the V Reigns, and now it looks like we're moving back into more of the common stuff. Braided in water as I'm. Dropping everything again. Field Troop Descent. And then the uh, Magic E Duo. 
So let's get into this last pack. Last pack magic? I think so. I'm feeling it, you guys. Let me know down in the comment section. What do you think was the best pull of today? Like, what was... I shook it, and it broke the seal. Hey, uh, what was the best pull of today, and what was your favorite art card anyways? Because there's so many cards we pulled today that I like. Like, the Star Mine. I like that art. Stairway to the Fabled Realm. Psychic Eraser Laser. Sacred Tree Beast Hypertone. Oh, I can't even read that. Pendulum Treasure. That's actually a pretty cool one with like the robot in the sand. We got ourselves Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. Ice Jade. Ice Jade. Followed by Reinforcement of the Army's Troops. That's not too bad. That's actually a pretty cool little art. Followed by Stardust Trail. Bam. Forbidden Droplet. And then Gukin Shipyard. Magic E Locking. One way curate. And it looks like we got some pretty cool little stuff. But yeah, let me know down in the comment section. What was your favorite like holographic that I got out of here? And what was your favorite art? Because there was a lot of these. I was like, man. So I'm gonna have to go through these and uh see see what we got. But until next time, you guys, I'll catch you later. Bye!